So let's uh, talk about more interesting points of polyspectrum.net software because uh, it can also perform some uh, interesting stuff like um, autonomic nervous system assessment and exercise stress testing. For autonomic nervous system, um, as I uh, suspect you're not, uh, maybe not so deep in medical stuff, but maybe it can be uh, understandable for you if uh, I just call autonomic nervous system, it's like a operating system with the drivers in your body like in a computer. So you're actually not aware of it functioning, but it supports everything you do or not do. For example, Maxim was performing his uh, presentation and autonomic nervous system decided that he needs 100, uh, 02 beats per minute of heart rate. Uh, that was not his intention and he was not able to control this even if he would like to because uh, this uh, stuff is not under our control. Like with a computer, like a user, you can uh, make some settings, for example, in a word, but uh, in many instances, you are not allowed to go deeper into the system files uh, because you need to administrate your rules, uh, administrate trials, uh, rights, uh, or you can damage something. Uh, the same with autonomic nervous system. And as doctors, we are interested uh, what's happening there inside under the hood, uh, but uh, we are not allowed to get there uh, directly. And we need to use some uh, indirect measures. Uh, and because yes, there are some more sophisticated direct uh, uh, methods, but they are expensive and uh, sometimes in, you need uh, to poke a person with needles and also stuff that's not pleasant. And we have uh, these two groups of, I would say the groups of method actually, uh, for uh, autonomic nervous system uh, assessment. That's heart rate variability. That's very uh, universal stuff because it can uh, give us uh, understanding of uh, the current um, uh, autonomic nervous system function uh, in different situations. And the second uh, part that's uh, cardiovascular reflex test battery that is dedicated for just one particular purpose uh, to diagnose autonomic neuropathy. Uh, HRV, yeah, as autonomic nervous system is involved in every function. So uh, we can try to see what happening, what's happening with the autonomic nervous system in uh, almost any clinical or even not clinical situation. So that's why you can see HRV use from cardiology to endocrinology to some uh, syncope analysis, um, athletics testing, and uh, it's grown in interest in wellness, fitness, and uh, of course, medical science. Uh, don't forget, as you are trying to find your customer, don't forget that some universities or research facilities, they, you see, they published six, 16,000 scientific articles in one year and a half. This, these data are from uh, Google Scholar Search uh, since uh, uh, 2019. So they need some equipment to perform these scientific recording. Yeah? So they can be your customers true. And uh, the procedure is quite simple. Uh, you usually need uh, just standard electrodes uh, applied on uh, uh, upper and low extremities, and the person need to uh, be um, in supine position, the resting position for a uh, couple of minutes, and then stand up and uh, continue in such a position for another five or six minutes. And uh, it's important to understand that uh, you can find now some products that uh, claim, okay, we are making HRV with the mobile phone with some um, fitness bracelet, and we tell you everything about your uh, autonomic nervous system, about your stress level, etc. But actually, uh, this is not a complete truth because uh, to be sure, to ensure correct analysis, uh, to make this analysis clinically relevant and uh, scientifically proven, you need real ECG. That's the point. As soon as you recorded this, uh, you get uh, opportunity, and it's also important that in our software, you have complete control on the raw data. So you get uh, ECG data, and you can review, 
and correct if uh, software occasionally makes some mistakes uh, on the noisy part or due to some reasons. So the doctor can uh, visually control the positions of every QRS marker perform uh, adjustment to be sure that the final result is uh, true. Uh, and the final result is uh, displayed as uh, some graphical information and uh, tables and text. And I will show you that a little bit later in more details. One of the features of our uh, system is that we provide a tool for um, breath rate measurement. Uh, breathing is another um, thing like heart rate that is controlled by autonomic nervous system. And uh, there is a very uh, strong uh, correlation between uh, breathing activity, respiratory activity, and heart rate. Uh, and uh, to ensure that we analyze uh, these uh, correctly, uh, we need to know what is actually um, breathing rate of person and try not to derive it from some secondary sources but measure directly and here with this uh, thermistor sensor we can record uh, breathing frequency and get a curve of uh, uh, breathing in and breathing out and compare it with the rhythm change and perform uh, first ensure that our analysis is correct and get additional information about them um, uh, connections between different parts of uh, our body uh, between different branches of autonomic nervous system. Uh, to cardiovascular reflex test, here uh, we need to perform some um, simple um, provocations to see how heart rate or blood pressure changes uh, um, when we perform some standard um, test. And in this case, uh, uh, you need some additional accessories like um, hand grip dynamometer or uh, pressure gauge for the salvo maneuver and we provide it in a standard package for this uh, HRV uh, CVT uh, pack so you can uh, purchase this from our company. Uh, the result uh, looks like um, uh, some simple table and graphics and actually it's quite standard thing. As I mentioned above uh, HRV is universal uh, this test is just mostly for one purpose and it mostly focused in diabetic uh, patients. Uh, and you need to, to use it to see if diabetes damaged uh, the autonomic nervous system. It can, um, this fact uh, can change the uh, treatment tactics, uh, all the management uh, of this patient. And that's why it is important to know how the autonomic nervous system works, because that's a complication of uh, the uh, diabetes. So, and uh, you get the result uh, is a scale from zero to 10 and uh, uh, 10 means that everything is wrong. And uh, now I will switch on some short um, video recording. Uh, so we start uh, patient data, input them. Uh, if a patient is returning customer, we have it already. We select heart rate variability analysis. Uh, then we proceed to uh, monitoring. Uh, here uh, we have opportunity to um, see ECG for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to be sure that the quality of the record is okay, that it's actually normal ECG and we can proceed further with this analysis because there are some limitation of uh, this HRE method. We, sometimes we cannot use it actually. And as soon as we start recording, uh, the process is automatically and it stops uh, in uh, reset timing. Uh, we can change these presets because they are different. Uh, so then we can review results. And it's important that when we review uh, the uh, heart rate data, if we see something interesting, we can uh, double click and go to the original ECG, see what's happening there. Uh, if it is okay or we need to correct something. And if we see that everything is normal, we can double click back on ECG and uh, come back to the previous analysis window. Uh, below the you know, graphics, we have this you know, 
nice table with uh, all the results displayed. And uh, if uh, by chance we forget what does it mean, we, we can get a hint or, uh, on the meaning of any parameter. Also, we have geometric analysis and the power spectrum analysis. That's actually the basic and the most, um, um, oh, sorry, this was not intentional. Just let me come back. Yeah. So uh, power spectrum analysis, that's maybe the main uh, feature of uh, HRV and most people use it because it provides uh, reliable information about the uh, autonomic nervous system. Also, we have this autocorrel. It's a uh, so-called nonlinear method. Some people use that. And uh, additional feature for you know, autostatic uh, test, some additional measurement, and everything is included. And when I generate final report, I get some textual information. Uh, there is some automatic interpretation uh, about the data and also uh, it's um, graphics and all the uh, information in the table and you can configure it uh, freely to include more uh, data or less uh, it depends on your uh, purpose for example in clinic it's maybe shorter report with less data and uh, in scientific setting you can uh, want uh, more data in your final report for statistical analysis <clears throat> 